All right. <laughs> Here's the last of uh, my green hat videos for the day. Uh, and this is the final of the three guitars that I made for the Woodstock Festival in Woodstock this October, a few weeks, a couple weeks. And this is, um, this is a Gloria, one of my own um, models. Hi, Pogo. Here's my dog. Um, this, has, uh, this is a, a pretty trick instrument. Um, first of all, I'd like to say I made it like <clears throat> really stripped down. And I love it when I have the, the courage to make something this plain. Um, this just has ebony bindings with curly maple. Um, what did you find there, buddy? Hey, go. Oh. Um, <laughs> with curly maple uh, furflings and just plain ebony. It's bound uh, fingerboard and everything. And Oh, and then I put a, a slotted headstock on here. But I just love the look of this guitar. This has a redwood top and it has Cuban mahogany back and sides. This is old, old Cuban mahogany um, that I was able to trace back to 1937. That's when it was purchased in Havana. And I got some of it and cut it up and made sets. So this is a, this is a kind of a trico guitar. It has a double top. And a double top is, it's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, technically difficult thing for me to do. And what it involves is, See, I have a sample here. It involves basically replacing the middle of the wood with this material. This is Nomex, and this is a, a Kev, um, like a Kevlar product uh, from the aerospace industry. And it's this sort of hexagonal honeycomb fabric almost um, that is very floppy and flexible this way, but it has tremendous compressive strength this way. And what you end up doing is removing the middle of the wood and gluing in Nomex in between two very thin sheets of, of uh, the remaining wood. In this case, I used redwood. This is a little sample I made with Engelman spruce. Um, I did detail this further back in my Facebook um, page. You can see pictures of me making this. But what this ends up doing is making a top that has, usually tops are, are much floppier in the cross grain dimension, this way, from here to here, floppy, and from this way, much stiffer. This has a tendency to make those two more equal. And so the top uh, radiates very evenly out from the bridge. And it also allows you to make a really stiff, light top because you're moving you're basically taking out the middle of the wood and filling it with air the 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 nomex weighs nothing it's really really light i couldn't even get the piece i put in to register on my scale i don't have a tremendously sensitive scale but less than a gram and um the result is this <laughs> this is like the loudest guitar on earth it's really 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 loud and um I just strung this up. So usually I'd wait a few days before I'd, I'd uh, do the video, but I was kind of excited. So I just, and I was doing the other one, so I put it on here. This is fresh. This baby is right off the tree. Um, gives it a very percussive, clear, even sound um, with nice bottom. a bit of definition in the sound you know you hear So this is a this is a trick guitar, and I think this is largely made for finger picking. I, I'm I'm playing with a pick right now, but this has a longer scale length than most of my guitars. This is um, 25.59 inches. It's actually I, I used a um, 650 millimeter scale length, and that's that's what that turns 
translates into in inches. 25.59. Um, so with a longer uh, scale length, you know, it's going to be really nice to tune it down into open tunings and get a big thunk in your bottom strings. Um, what else can I say about it? Again, it has a player's port. I just think this is a really beautiful instrument. And with a slotted headstock, it's, it's also unusual uh, to have a big bodied guitar like this with a slotted headstock, unless you're talking about those. Uh, it was done with dreadnoughts for a little while with a slope so shoulder. But um, the redwood's really pretty. Redwood is very light. Um, it's like cedar uh, in, its, in its weight. And to tell you the truth, I don't think it has a tremendous uh, difference between uh, redwood and western red cedar, but they look quite different. They smell different when you're cutting them. Um, but they're, uh, to my ear, they're fairly interchangeable sound-wise. Let's see. thing is amplified it's crazy it's just so up front it sounds like a telecaster i'm gonna enjoy breaking this one in um so that's the that's the new gloria um i hope you enjoyed looking at it and um that's all thanks for checking out my posts i do appreciate it bye-bye <laughs>